Ann Arbor Tower, eight is information echo 2153 Zulu, wind 230 at 13, visibility 10. Sky clear, temperature 3, dew point minus 6, altimeter 3015. Visual so approach, there. runway 24 in use. Notice to airmen, runway 1230 closed. Use caution for birds in the immediate vicinity. Advise on initial contact. You have ATIS information echo. Yeah, looks good. Cool. Then ground is going to be 121.6. Tower, ATIS information echo 2153 Zulu. Wind 230 at 13. Visibility 1. And upper ground, Cessna 333 uniform bike. Uh, is at the Northwest Tees uh, with information. Eh, I forgot the letter, but ready for taxi to the active. Cessna 333 echo. uniform mic and upper ground, runway 24 taxi by Charlie Alpha, ATIS Echo Current. Charlie 24 via Charlie Alpha, and yeah, we have Echo 3 uniform mic. Cool. So just coming out on Charlie, going all the way out to Alpha. Alright, doors and windows latched, closed. Uh, flight controls are correct, so forward, back, up, down, up, fuel selector is on, trim for takeoff, mixture to rich, throttle 17. Carp seeds. Barely dropped. Bags. Right. Left. A bit more to drop. Yeah. Remember what the tolerances are? I think it was um, 125, 125 but then 50 between. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Max checked. Primer is in and locked. Vacuum pump is green but a little low. The voltage light is out. Twice. Amp meter 28 amps. You can also check these, uh, these ones ah. if you want to check the volts. Gotcha. So the amps, there's uh, amps and volts on two sides. Right? So if you want to check it, you could just like turn on the lights or something uh -huh. and see if the amps are changing. Oil temperature is still not up. Usually sit. Uh, around there? Just touching the green, yeah, it'll warm up in a little bit. Okay. It's just first time of the day, so. Gotcha. Oil pressure is green. Fuel quantity is still showing full tank, so. T. That oh, was that you? Yep, so we, it's exhaust it's gas temperature, right? If uh -huh. you want to check that, cleaning the mixture makes the temperature go up, right? Yeah. You can pull it back an inch. Give it a 20 seconds and see if the needle moves. Uh, there it's Slowly creeping. Right, so it's working. Yep. And then idle. Idle then a thousand. Yep, so Once idle check. You pull all the way back. Oh, pull to idle, make yeah. sure it doesn't shut off. Right. It's just is not happy. Back to a thousand. At 900 to a thousand just keeps it running smoothly. By instruments, we're still one. Amazing how much that yeah, changes. It's more accurate in flight, but it does pre test significantly. Radios, we're going to be on 20.3. That's tower. And transponder is supposedly working. Supposedly working. <laughs> flaps, don't need flaps for this. And landing light. Oh. All right, so checklist is complete. So we'll just do a normal takeoff. Uh, climb out. We'll get 
you know, straight ahead on runway heading till we're at 1,300 feet. That's our 500. And then we can make a right turn and just fly out to the west. We'll just go straight out west, like we said, till we see Pleasant Lake. All right. All right. Um, so you'll do the flying. I'll just remind you of anything if you need to. And if we have a problem, either bore on the runway, if engine fails, you know, finding something straight ahead of us. Not All right. really turning back, staying on that 30 degrees. Left to right. Sound good? Sounds good. Cool. So you can just pull out, you know, and turn to stop before the whole short line and then I'll give tower a call. All right. Yeah, it's hard to tell if we need sunglasses or not. I think it's hazy enough that it's just going to not bother us. Yeah. And our cabin heat is on. <laughs> not too bad today, but I've been flying on like negative 30 outside air temperature days. Uh -huh. So keep going straight up. Take it wide. Wide, cut around. They definitely have good taxi technique leading with the pedals, right? Whoever you flew with made a big deal about that, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the first person I haven't had to remind not to ride the brakes on the first flight, so I like it. And you taxi slow, which I appreciate. <laughs> well, and I'm also, I, these boots are, uh, <laughs> I don't have good feel, so I, I yeah. made it a point to like really put my heels on the floor oh, on the pedals. Right. But yeah, it's just obvious. It's like I thought I was up on the brakes, and I was like, oh no, I'm still down low. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's, just, it's obvious that you have some good habits, so we'll see if those carry over to flying, but I bet they will. Upper tower, Cessna 333, uniform mic, holding short, runway 24, ready for departure, VFR to the northwest. Cessna 333, uniform mic, and upper tower, runway 24, cleared for takeoff, right turn on course approved, wind 260 at Niner. Okay, runway 24, cleared for takeoff, right turn, 3, uniform mic. All right. All right. So, so final is clear. Clear for takeoff. Just keep a little power to get yourself straight. And once you're straight, you can add your full power. All right. Let's go. All right. Just a tiny bit of wind from the right. So just a little bit of right aileron. Won't need much. All right. Airspeed live. Six knots. Rotate. Okay. Yeah, just put it above the trees. Alright, looking good. Once you're at 13, you can turn to the west. Or just, yeah, go to heading of like 280, 290 approximately. Yeah, perfect. We do the, uh, like an obstacle clearance speed to we're over the trees and then just your cruise climb. Nose on the horizon, that gives you around 80, which looks like is what you're doing. So that's perfect. Okay, if you want, you can do a climb check here. Just the three items, but. Throttle's full, flaps are retracted, engine instrument, still oil pressure, temperature's coming up. Oh, still running. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't like any of my options here. <laughs> if the engine wasn't running. Yeah. All right, and we'll go all the way up to, well, let's just try 3,500, save some time climbing. We'll get up to 3,500, level off, and then just keep going 10 miles till we hit Pleasant Lake. All right. The wind's kind of out of this direction. So 
that's probably where you'll feel it pushing you from. Normally, when this is working, you can swipe over and it gives you a miniature GPS. Uh -huh. Not very effective, but it gives you something. And then you can also swipe and get whistle off. And the METARs you can look up from the ADSB on the ground. So, not super important at the moment, and you have your sentry, but it is on there. Okay. Let's keep flying out here, just going off of all these lines, right? That'll be your west heading. And then if you want some panel light so it starts to get darker in a bit, you gotta switch up here, and knob down there, that labeled GS lights or whatever, so yeah. you can... Two of our 152s have terrible lights. They just got this red one. Uh -huh. Two and three of mic have this really nice LCD panel. That's perfect. So if you have to do night flights, pick these two. <laughs> pick the uniform mic. Alright, cool. Well, so for your slow flight, how current are you? You want me to talk, just talk you through it? Uh, so your... slow flight, your it's usually it's car heat on, throttle back, maintain altitude as you're bleeding off airspeed. And then as you're getting close to your stall speed, or you know, like what they say, five to ten knots, yeah. you're adding power back to maintain your altitude without losing. Yeah, perfect. So I do 1700 to slow down. You can uh -huh. start that, the car heat at 1700. And then as you get to the wide arc, we'll be putting in flaps and increments down to full flaps. And then, yeah, perfect. We'll hold it at like 45-ish knots. Just kind of fly with that, keeping the nose in the horizon with some back trim might help as well. And we've got some nice stuff out there for our west heading. So we'll just fly that visually. Keep that pitch coming up just a little bit. I know the horizon's hazy today, but yeah, a few trims will help. And go flat to 20. Stop. That climb. And flaps 30. And basically right after that, you can add your power in a little bit to like 2,000 RPM or so. That'll kind of help you stay at about 45. Good use of rudder, just keep your nose coordinated. Keeping that trim up so that we don't uh, descend anymore. And just give it a little more power, yeah, so that we can climb up. Yeah, I'd go right to 2000 to start with. And then fine tune it from there. All right, might even need like 2100 right now. 2200. Watch that pitch attitude, just slightly nose down. Good using those rudders to help kind of with the directional control at low speeds. All right, so this is nice. You're holding it all, right? So we're 200 feet low. So now you can add a good bump of power to climb back up. But you know that this is the setting that's going to keep you there, right? Yeah. All job on the heading and speed though. So just that last 100 feet and then you can throttle back to whatever it was we just had, 2100 or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, cool. That's good. Stop the climb. 2,100 RPM. And that's just kind of keeping us here. Let's do a right turn to the north, point towards this proving ground. And just use a really shallow bank, right? Just a couple degrees over. Because we don't want to... Yeah, we're still climbing. Just pull that power back a bit, lower the nose slightly. Right, and then just keep turning. The turn will also help you prevent the climb. Good, right there. Okay, good. Keep it going. We're still a little high though, we're at 100 feet. Not bad at all, but just bring it back like 50 RPM and it'll drop down. Nice, rolling out here. That'll kind of be your north reference. looking great, uh, just still 100 feet high, just, you know, use that power, you're in control of it, so bring it down a little bit, kind of sink 100 feet, and then bump it back up to 2,000. Yeah. You can use carpet if you're. Zero eight kilo, clear for the option on two four. Arc. Ooh, that gives you a big signal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just find whatever works for you with the power. But once you feel stable here for a second, at your discretion, you can turn back to the west. Just do another left turn. contrast for your video, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all right. It's flying, so it still looks good. Yeah. If it wasn't hazy, I bet you got some cool sunset colors. Uh huh. But the haze is preventing that, just diffusing everything. All right, this looks nice. Now you know, you're staying within within a hundred feet each way consistently, so this is good. We'll just keep flying this way for a minute here, but. We'll take this into a power off stall, right? So your approach to landing stall, you're already configured with full flat. Uh -huh. Mixture's rich. You just did a turn. We've been looking out for traffic. So we'll call that your clearing turn. Um, so I usually just say use your 1700 RPM for approach, lower the nose and establish descent, right? And then bring power to idle and take it into a, a power off stall with your flare attitude. So if you're feeling good with slow flight, you can keep flying this for a few more minutes if you want. So whenever you feel like it, and switch over to that power off stall setup. All right. Oh, carpet spot. And then just lower the nose to get your 65 or six, your 60 knot approach. A little bit more nose down. Just to initially build up some speed. That's good. Perfect. Now you're good to start. Yeah, okay. Back to idle. Off. Yeah, just take it under your flare attitude, put it just above the horizon. As hazy as it is. Flare. Alright, just kind of keep it up there with increasing back pressure. Don't let the nose drop. A little higher. Good. Okay, nose down, left rudder, left rudder, full power, left rudder, full power, car beat in. Flaps 20. And put the nose just above the horizon, level the weight. Okay. Got a positive rate of climb, and then we're pitching for about 67 knots. 
Good, Fox 10. A little bit more nose up, nose up. Good, keep it right up there. Now we'll just climb with this for another few hundred feet, and then we'll bring flaps up to zero. So that was good. We just held it there a little bit. We were like right on the edge of the stall, dropping uh -huh. for a while. So yeah. you finally aggravated it that last bit. That's why I wanted to drop off a little bit. Your recovery was good. Just make sure right away, nose down, full power. As soon as you bring in that power, it helps. And then you use the rudders great, brought it back up. Got yeah, that positive great. Single flaps up to zero. And just keep climbing up to 3,500 feet. And then we'll level off and just do that one more time. Nice. Right. And we're in the wide arc. You can get your flaps in. All the way down to full in increments. And then you can just basically go right into your descent once you have that. Notice it's like 500 feet per minute, 60, yep. that's your perfect stabilized approach. Yeah, power yeah. idle. Power idle. Okay, start holding it off, go right to your flare attitude. Oh. Yeah, just kind of keep it up there. Sure the wings are level, just a little bit that way, good. Going a little bit higher, higher. Good right there, just keep that. And recover. Just nose down, full power, carpet in. Keep it right there, flaps 20. Now put it just above the horizon. Tiniest bit nose up, a little bit more nose up. Good. Lot smoother that time, nice. You can go to flaps 10. So you can get some more speed. Keep my nose up there, don't let it drop. Beautiful, right there. And let's go back up to 3,500. So you could do some steep turns, 45 degree bank, so you got that little dot there. But mainly the sight picture outside. We're starting from a cruise setup, so like 2,390 to 100 knots is a good range. Right, you don't want to get too slow, so I keep the power up a little bit, 2,300 or more. But you got some good reference out there. You don't really have anything right now, but at your road, south heading. So I would do what left 360 all the way around, roll out, then we'll try the other way. All right. So clear your left. A little, little faster rolling, a little back pressure. Good. A bit steeper. All right, get that 45 degree angle. Good. This is perfect. Just keep the nose where it's at. A little bit more to the left. Don't let it come out of the turn yet. Hand over tower, arrow and iron, 608 kilo. Very nice. Now just maintain that all the way. Arrow 08 kilo, make on over on the way. Good. Best traffic, clear for takeoff, 08 kilo. More back pressure, just a bit. And then reminding yourself when to roll out. As you roll out, forward on your yoke. Go roll out, nose down, and right rudder. Yeah, not bad at all. You stayed within 50 feet that whole way. So just make sure you go steep enough. But otherwise, that was really good. You're all stable here. Your speed's still fine. Just give it a little more power. Just a little bit so it doesn't get slow. Now let's try one to the right. Remember, you're sitting higher in your seat, so it looks different. All right. Clear right. Rolling just a little quicker so you can start it. Lower the nose slightly and a little steeper. A little bit more to the right. Okay, good, right there. Keep it steep. Nice, that's perfect. Your altitude is not moving at all. It's hard to get a reference with because there's nothing. I, I it's agree. Not, it's not hitting on the cowling at all for me. Yeah, I know. Okay, roll out, nose down, nose down. Catch the 100 feet, nice. Yeah, it was perfect. Uh, just in the rollout, obviously we were talking about, yeah. got distracted, but that was really good. When I lost the, uh, the outside reference.
uh -huh. the line. And the so I was watching the, you know, watching the field rotate, <laughs> and it's like, uh, nope, that's the, that's yeah. the square I need to hit. Gotcha. Well, no, those are really good. I'm impressed. So if you want to do any more, you can. Otherwise, we'll just call it good for a seat turn review. Uh, let's do that, because that, that looks, it looks funny. Okay, you want to do one more to the right? Yeah, sure. All right, so we've got speed rolling faster with Oh, the nose just sink down a tiny bit, just a little bit. Okay. Right there is good, that's good. The correction. A little too high, I guess. Yeah. Keep going, and then that's your south over there. Yeah. Nose down, nose down. Opposite rudder. Good. Beautiful. All right. It's just on, on steep turns, I think it helps to roll in just a little quicker, so it's like established. And on the roll out, yeah, I can just demo for a minute. Yeah. Um, so on like shallow turns with no rudder, if you look at the ball, uh -huh. there's a little adverse yeah, but not much, right? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. If you're doing a more rapid steep turn with no rudder, the ball really shifts over. Yeah. Which is why, if we're doing steep turns, not aggressively, but a little bit more aggressively than normal turns, I like to use the left row of the entry to keep the ball pegged. Uh, that was too extreme, but go right to 45 degrees. And then once you're established and you want to roll out, you always tend to climb on the rollout. So, rolling out here, I'm going to use nose down and opposite rudder to kind of keep it pegged and then I'll make it smooth on the rollout. But your, your turn was perfect otherwise. Is that your controls? My controls. And as you start your left turn, I'll point out, you can just basically pick a point that works, but there's a few big intersections or drains out there that uh -huh. you can just use in the middle of that field. And just set it up on your left wing strut and we'll do some left turns around a point once you come a beam, whatever you want to use. Right? And just start the maneuver that way. Air zero eight kilo runway two four, quick captain. Zero eight kilo, clear for the option on two four. You roll out east here, like any one of those intersections of all the trade. Just pick one of those that you want to use. Put it off your left wing strut, and then you can begin just a big circle. All right. So if Yeah, how about that one? Yeah. Right up here? Cool. I'll just keep this distance then. This side's gonna be steeper, other side's shallower, right? But still just keeping a big wide turn, so it won't take more than maybe fifteen degrees of bank, twenty max. So it's gonna be pretty wide and gentle. Flying ground, runway 24, tank three, Charlie Alpha. Ann Arbor Tower, Cessna 333, uniform Mike. 10 miles west with Foxtrot inbound for landing. 333 from Mike, Amber Tower, and a right down, runway 24. Right down one for 243, uniform Mike. So, so 3 uniform Mike, runway 24, clear to land. 3 uniform Mike, clear to land, 24. Oh! Yeah, just bring us out a little bit more to the left. 
start to slow us down slightly, I'd power back just like a little bit. Zero, zero kilo, remain the frequency, one way two four taxi alpha. Zero eight kilo, two four with you. Alright, All right. I'm gonna turn some lights on. That helps a little bit. Not that dark yet, but Alright, keep going just a little bit to your left. Just because of the wind today. Alright, so come up a beam here, you can go carpet on, power back Carpied to on. seventeen ish. And with the light. Yep, perfect. Do your little descent, somewhere around 500 feet per minute. And the wind's kind of blowing us out, so feel free to turn base kind of right away. To keep it relatively tight, to give yourself a little room to set up. All right, you keep flying the landing. Just, you know, if, if you need in the flare, I'll just come on the controls a bit. But I get the feeling you won't need much help, so just keep going. Keep descending here a little bit. Yeah, flaps will help, and then just power back a little bit. Continue from mic number two, Cessna right base. Okay, start to lower the nose. Uh, Tyler, could you repeat that to you for mic? Continue from mic number two, Cessna right base. Uh, number two, looking. I uh, found him to uniform mic. <laughs> Chief Mike, number two, okay, runway two four, clear for the more. option at the option right turn west approved. And powering back. Uh, number two, clear for the option and then westbound approved. Uh, actually, can we request a, a pattern to uniform mic? Keep coming. Chief Mike, back. Roger, after option, continue up traffic. Yeah, raise the nose a little bit. After power option, but I continue. Oh. Pattern and to uniform. Power all the way to idle. I just slowed it for a second. Enter for tower, helicopter 155, the uniform mic is with you on the RDF 24 approach outside of the roof. Now you can get a little bit more power. Then head to full map. Perfect. Helicopter 155, units mic, Roger, continue bomb. Just slow it down. Perfect. Easing a little power back, but keep some of it in. Nice. Transitioning power to idle. And just start aiming for the tree line, right? Just put the nose up there as we float a little lower. Power all the way back. Put the nose in the tree line. Just hold it there a little higher, 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 higher. Nice. Beautiful. All right, just light brakes. We'll turn off to alpha two. You got a little time, though. A little bit of brakes. Oh, just relax. Kind of the boots make it Harbor hard. Tower, Arrow 9 or 6 zero 8 kilos, ready at 2-4. I'll be in the pattern. Arrow 9 or 6 zero 8 kilos, right. the tower holds short traffic landing. And just give a little power to roll off. And we'll stop after the line. So three for Mike, main this frequency, tax Northwest T's via Bravo Charlie, good day. Bravo Charlie, stay with you. All right. Bravo Charlie, stay with you. Be in for Mike. Free in for Mike. Okay. I got All the taxi, right, Mike clear. control. Okay. You can just do the checklist. I'll start the taxi checklist. and then you can take it over. That was Flaps really good. retract. Mixture. Yeah. Lean. RP cold. Probes are off. Probes are this one. Have lights. Lights as required. Yep. Radios are set. After landing. Oh, nice job with that. Just a little high, but as soon as you cut your power, you fix that. 